This building right behind me, Polly Pavilion, has been a great place for UCLA to play basketball this year. They've won 14 of the first 15 games to date. Now they head to Tucson to take on the University of Arizona that have won 35 in a row in their building. Hi everybody, this is Chris Roberts. Join us now as we head to Tucson and let's see what happens. Missed shot by Kevon Looney on UCLA and the rebound, Hollis Jefferson for Arizona. Just the beginning of the game. Jefferson loses the ball. Hamilton's got it for UCLA to Bryce Alford inside. Powell finishes with a slam dunk. 2 0 UCLA. So the Bruins start fast and a two on one action with Powell trailing and the slammer. TJ McConnell brings it into the front court, works it on the wing to Hollis Jefferson, back to McConnell. McConnell out in front. Throws the alley-oop down low. Tarzuski loses it. Bruins have it. Bryce Alford, the point guard, leads the team in threes. Feeds it to Powell. Gets it back. 22-footer. Good! So the Bruins lead 5-0. 5-0 UCLA. Arizona trying to get on the scoreboard early in the game. Stanley Johnson with the basketball. Double team. Throws it out in front. Ashley's got it. He'll feed it. McConnell, shot partially blocked by Looney. Bruins have it on a steal, and it's going to be a turnover too. Powell down the lane, lays it up and in. UCLA is going to take the ball out of bounds on the baseline. Bryce Alford gets the pass from Powell. Contact with Tarzuski, but no whistle. He'll get it to Hamilton over on the near wing. Isaac loses the basketball, laid it up and in, but there was a whistle and a foul away from the basketball. Stanley Johnson picked up the foul. There's the comparison between the two top freshmen in the Pac-12. Kevon Looney, 13 double-doubles on the air. Pretty good player. Ball brought into Hamilton. He'll pass it back out in front to Bryce Alford. They work it around the outside. Hamilton gets it into Looney. He'll go up, miss the shot. Looney's fouled, and Kevon is going to go to the free throw line. Fouled in the act of shooting, he'll shoot a pair. And his counterpart that we just talked about, Stanley Johnson, 6'7 freshman, he'll pick up his second foul early. He's probably going to have to come out of the game. How about the double-doubles this season for Kevon Looney? No other freshman has as many. First free throw, that is good. 6-0 UCLA. Early part of the ball game, and a concerned head coach, Sean Miller, this team hasn't scored as of yet. Looney will get another free throw for the Bruins. And that's good. 7-0. UCLA, they have the lead in front of Arizona. Ten wins in one year. That is huge for any football team. UCLA's got a chance to do it two years in a row under head coach Jim Mora. They take on Kansas State at San Antonio's Alamo Bowl. Now, would they have loved to have played here at the Rose Bowl? absolutely in the playoffs, then go on to Arlington National Championship. Didn't work out that way. Hi, everybody. This is Chris Roberts. Let's find out who wins number 10. Cats, Bruins, Alamo Bowl. Brad Hundley, first and goal, 10-yard line. Bruins driving, would love to score. He's going to keep it himself after the snap. Turns left into the end zone. Touchdown, UCLA. There's the first score of the ball game in the Alamo Bowl. Oh, Hundley does it all. He is so good when he runs. It opens up the passing game. Got a good block up front and also from a wide receiver. Now they're going to roll the dice on a fourth down, and they're going to go for it fourth and three. Hundley with about oh, 125 left to go in this first quarter, and the Bruins, they lead it 10 to nothing. Can they add another one? Shotgun snap. He's got it. Takes the handoff. He's going to score again. Look at him go. Touchdown, UCLA. It's all Brett Hundley so far, and the Bruins lead it 16 to nothing. He just had the fake handoff to Perkins, the leading ball carrier in the Pac-12 this year, and he just scooted into the end zone. Hundley, first and 10 here in the second quarter. Handoff. That goes to Paul Perkins. He's going to sprint down the near sideline, run over a man, and go into the end zone. 
Touchdown UCLA. What a run by Paul Perkins. And Huntley just gave his top running back in the Pac-12 the ball and said, you take care of it. Look at the way he just slides down that sideline. Got hit, but he hit the pylon. That's good enough for a TD. Broke the plane of the end zone. And UCLA keeps on rolling. 24 to 6 for the extra point there in front of Kansas State. Just seconds left in the half. Huntley, the QB, puts a man in motion, gets the snap, wants to throw. Devin Lucian, wide open. Touchdown back in the end zone. And UCLA leads it 30 to 6 before the extra point. What a start for UCLA in the first half. Brad Hundley taking advantage of mistakes by Kansas State. Interception by Miles Jack. Set up that touchdown by Paul Perkins. The Bruins are in the driver's seat. Hundley finds his man in the back of the end zone, and the Bruins look like they're on their way to winning. Everybody loves baseball this time of the year. Best of five game series. The three wins come quick, so do the losses. Ask the Nationals. They trail the Giants 2 0. San Francisco would love to play St. Louis. End of the week. Hi, everybody. Chris Roberts here. Let's go right to the action. Madison Bumgardner with a 1 2 count on Wilson Ramos. Now, if Ramos tries to bunt and fouls it off, that's a strikeout. Here's the pitch. He is going to bunt up along the first baseline. Bumgardner got it and threw it away. Up along that left field line. That means Desmond's going to score. Ishikawa gets it. By the time he gets it back to Crawford in the infield, there's another runner across home plate. Bryce Harper makes it 2 0 Washington in front of San Francisco. Pablo Sandoval shaken up on that ball down the line. Looks like he's grabbing at his right ankle. But a happy dugout. They're down 2 0 in the series. Best of five. They're playing for sudden death. Training staff of the giant dugout out to attend to Pablo, but it looks like he's going to be okay. And now a timeout on the field as Bumgarner is going to get some conversation from the dugout. But here's the replay. Bunt, Bumgarner, real quick throw, and just wheeled that one into the bullpen. You can see the bullpen guys, they don't even know what to do. And by the time Ishikawa retrieves it two runs have come across the plate and now it's two nothing Washington what a great day in San Francisco absolutely beautiful feels like August and October Harper at the plate with a 1 1 count Ishii he's the pitcher the right hander deals there's a long fly ball to right center field this one is gone Almost into McCovey Cove, and that's it. Bryce Harper, his second home run of the series. It is now 4 0 Washington in front of San Francisco. And they know they've got to play good ball. They're down 2 0 in the series, and every man on that team knows that Harper has been the man, scored one run earlier when Madison Bumgarner threw the ball away down the third baseline. Now a solo shot in the top of the ninth. 